Hello and I welcome you all. This is Riya, and today we will be talking about bond, bond yields, and uh, their connection with the stock market. Obviously, you might have heard uh, that because the bond yields are rising and it is uh, hampering the equities. So we'll uh, decode everything today. So let us understand first of all what is a bond. Bond is basically a fixed income instrument. that represents a loan made by an investor to a borrower in simple words basically whenever a corporate or a government wants to raise money from the public through this instrument like through a debt instrument they issue bonds it is used by both corporate as well as government and uh, when you are paying money to someone like when you are investing money or lending money to someone definitely you expect something in return in return the government or a corporate will give you a fixed a uh, interest rate which is also called as a coupon so these are couple of concept that you might have heard as far as the bonds are concerned so every bond will have a certain face value at the time of issue say for 100 200000 it will have a coupon rate at the time of issue uh, there will be a promise that uh, a particular percentage like 6% 7% 8% uh, periodically or a yearly or semi annually the government or corporate will be paying you and maturity date there will be a certain maturity at which you will be paid back your entire principal back now coming back to the bond yield what exactly is a bond yield with this example we understand in in nutshell actually uh, the bond yields are the actual return that you get on your actual investment so this is the investment at a time of issue the 10 year government bond maturing in 2031 because we are in 2021 right now coupon rate is 5% at the time of issue this was the coupon rate 5% and this is the face value of 100 rupees say for example if i bond uh, if i buy a one bond so this government bond will give me 5 rupees a year okay now let us understand the same bond will trade in the secondary market okay when the market value of the of that uh, that bond which is which was issued at 100 rupees becomes 80 what happens to the bond yield what happens to the actual yield keep on it will keep on giving the 5 rupees but actual value is now 80 rupees so yield will go up please understand whenever the market value of bond goes down the yield will go up and what happens when the market value goes up now the same face value was 100 rupees now the market value is at 120 rupees and the bond yield will come down because someone who is buying this bond at 120 rupees will definitely will get lesser yield because the coupon rate is fixed right so if i invest 120 rupees and i get 5 rupees back so what will be my actual yield actual yield will be 4.16% this is what the bond yield is all about so what is their connection with the stock market actually there are two reasons because of which the bond yields affect the stock market reason number 1 is simply uh the fis are the major investors in the indian market so whenever their bond yields go up they tend to prefer to invest in bonds more than the equities so they sell equities and invest in bonds another reason is this whenever the bond yields go up that indirectly implies that inflation is going to come now the only way to tackle the inflation is to increase the interest rate so what do the central banks do in order to tackle the inflation they raise the interest rate now raising of the interest rate is bad for the equities why because the cost of borrowing goes up and more is the cost of borrowing it indirectly hit the net profit the net margin of the companies and that is the reason equities start reacting negatively so this was about the bond yield and how it affects the stock market uh thank you very much for watching this video and uh, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel so whenever i come up with such educational videos you will be notified thank you thank you very much this is riyaz signing off